Greetings, dear viewers. In this video, we will talk a bit about engines, specifically about the age-old debate. This engine, whose operation you are now observing on the cutaway model, is it a boxer or a V-twin with a cylinder angle of 180 degrees? Or are they the same thing? I might not have taken up this topic, but several thousand comments that have accumulated over the years of my activity on YouTube are practically demanding this episode. Now let's dig a little into the terminology and specialized literature, both domestic and foreign. Let's recall a bit of the history of this engine and try to figure out what exactly an opposed engine is and what a flat V-twin is. You're on the Krasmoto channel. Enjoy watching. Let's compare opposed engines and 180 degree V engines. I'll try to back up my arguments as much as possible, find suitable visualizations, and for those who have doubts, I'll include links in the description to the sources of the information used. Let's begin with some history. By the end of the 19th century, engineers and inventors were faced with the urgent question of increasing the power of existing engines. Increasing the number of cylinders and creating specific configurations and their arrangements was an effective solution to this issue. A two-cylinder engine like this one as seen on some BMW motorcycle models, for example, was first invented in 1897 by a German guy. A year before that, he established a special department for automotive engine design at his company in Mannheim and began developing efficient multi-cylinder designs. And a year later, the company presented a new engine concept. The name of this talented engineer is Carl Friedrich Michael Benz. He called this design a contramotor because of the opposite arrangement of the cylinders in the horizontal plane. And many sources translate this name as an opposed engine. Just a year later, in 1898, the Slovenian Johan Puk, independently of Carl Benz, presented his own version of the opposed engine. This engine configuration quickly earned a reputation for power and efficiency. This was reinforced by sporting achievements. Years later, Aviators targeted the opposed engine. In 1902, the Pierce monoplane, later among the first airplanes to fly, featured a two-cylinder opposed engine. And on motorcycles, an engine of this configuration first debuted in 1905 on this model called the Fay, which was produced by the British company Light Motors Company. And in 1907, this company would be acquired by Douglas which would later become famous for its motorcycles. That's enough history for now. If you want to learn more, a video link has appeared. Now let's dig into the terminology and literature. After all, we need to find the truth. So the inventor of this engine himself called it an opposed engine. I think that's the correct interpretation of the term contramotor. V-twins definitely weren't there. What does Wikipedia tell us? In the Russian version, reference number one says that an engine of this configuration is called an opposed engine. This version of the article includes a clear animation showing the difference between an opposed engine and a V-type engine with a 180-degree cylinder bank angle. But we'll talk about their differences later on in the story. What does the English Wikipedia say? The article uses the term horizontally opposite engine. That's reference to foreign sources also use the terms boxer and flat engine boxer is a term that describes the specific operation of the engine the pistons move opposite each other along the crankshaft similar to boxers arms in the ring the term flat engine is colloquial and refers to both flat v and boxer engines this term mainly refers to the engine cylinder arrangement with both types having cylinders in the same plane however you shouldn't rely on Wikipedia alone. Let's look at some more serious literature. For example, in the 1959 edition of Internal Combustion Engines by UWU, B. Margulis, on page 14, the engine of the configuration we're discussing is called an engine with a horizontal opposed cylinder arrangement. Reference number three. Note that the illustration is primitive and based on the connecting rods position. This is a V-twin with a 100 80 degree cylinder angles. In this edition, Fundamentals of the Theory and Design of Internal Combustion Engines by E. V. Kuznetsov, 2021, pages 19 to 20, 
A similar simple illustration refers to this engine as an opposed engine. See reference 7 in the book Internal Combustion Engines by Colin Ferguson and Alan Kirkpatrick, United States of America, 2016 on page 34, we can see the term horizontally opposed. Reference number four, or here's the edition by the Briton Richard Stone called Introduction to Internal Combustion Engines, 1992, reference number five. On page 208, such an engine is also called horizontally opposed. But the engine that some commentators present as a true boxer is referred to in technical literature as an engine with opposed piston movement and in English as an opposed piston engine. For example, see the 1990 edition of Internal Combustion Engines, Design and Operation of Piston and Combined Engines, pages 237, 240, reference 6. Or here's the book Internal Combustion Engines again, Reference number four, page 203. What appears below the engine illustration? Opposed pistons. All the page numbers are given for the PDF files linked. As you can see, this is quite serious literature. What's the core difference between an opposed engine and a V-twin with a 180 degree cylinder bank angle? It comes down to how the connecting rods are arranged, the crank pin count, and piston movement. In an opposed engine, each rod uses its own crank pin. Neighboring cylinders have crank pins spaced 180 degrees apart. Thanks to these conditions, the two pistons move in opposite directions, reaching top dead center and bottom dead center at the same time. Overall, boxer engines are well balanced due to the mirrored movement of the pistons. In a V-type engine with a cylinder bank angle of 180 degrees, the connecting rods of neighboring cylinders are attached to a single crank pin. Accordingly, the pistons move in the same direction. When one reaches top dead center, the other is at bottom dead center. This engine makes no sense with two cylinders, as it would be extremely unbalanced. It makes sense in a combination of several pairs of cylinders to balance the engine, either in the form of a flat engine or as an H-type engine. For example, such an engine, a V-type with a cylinder bank angle of 180 degrees and four cylinders, was used in the Tatra 57 model from 1932. Or this little known motorcycle, Holden. This machine was first produced by Kipo Holden in 1897. This is the first four cylinder motorcycle ever made. Also, Subaru and Porsche officially call their engines opposites or boxers, and there are no fools working there. I hope we figured it out together. So, if you call the BMW R1200 engine, or the engine of a Douglas or Ural motorcycle an opposite, that's absolutely correct and proper. If you call the engine of the T64 tank where the pistons move toward each other an opposite, that will also be a correct statement. But those who like to call an opposite engine a V-type with a cylinder angle of 180 degrees, you might want to reconsider your beliefs. Check the literature. Not just articles from dubious sources, I mean reputable technical literature, ideally several in multiple languages. At this point, my short story comes to an end. I hope I managed to explain everything to you. Literature links are pinned in the video description. And, you know, to figure out a topic that sometimes seems unclear, you need to dive into some serious literature and use your brain a little. Don't just believe the first shorts you see on YouTube. If you found the video useful and interesting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and support the creator with a like, repost, and comment. This was the Crossmodo channel. See you next time.